Alright guys, what's going on everyone in the Goon Squad? Welcome back to another Monster Energy Supercross 2 video here on the channel. Today guys, stock Suzuki in Daytona. And of course, it is actually raining. So, we qualified fastest, fastest by like 1.2 seconds. We were absolutely flying out there in the mud. So, I think it's going to be an interesting outcome. Uh, the mud is definitely an interesting twist just because things can go south just like that in the mud next thing you know you're laying on the ground and the competition is gone so we're gonna do a 20 second head start just like always in here in our career racing. mode the of course we're Daytona in the points speedway. chase with jason anderson Hi, we're doing our stock bike review. career mode man it's going pretty good so far what round is this like round 10 i think daytona is we're pretty far into it right now and me and anderson are like this close in points so so it's gonna be good we're getting closer and closer and closer to the final round in in Las Vegas and guys we're gonna get right in to this video I'm running a giveaway for a $20 gaming gift card here on the channel for the entire month all you have to do to enter is like the video be subscribed to my channel and leave a comment down below with a way to get in touch with you I will contact the winners at the end of the month all right guys we're here in daytona of course the stock suzuki look at it guys looking fresh we're rocking some troy lee designs gear if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me throw any comments down below make sure to enter into the giveaway guys this video and tomorrow's video are the last chances to enter into the giveaway so make sure you do not miss out on that enter into the giveaway and then we're going to be choosing a winner uh sometime on wednesday i believe sometime on the first of next month and the video will be up as soon as possible so enter into the giveaway subscribe if you're new and let's get in to the 20 second head start challenge we are on a suzuki oh man qualifying went pretty good it's pouring rain Let's see what goes down. I, I don't know, man. Off the AIs go. Let's see if we can do it. 20 seconds down. It's going to be interesting to see if we can actually make up 20 seconds just because if we make any mistakes, which it's going to be really easy to make mistakes here in the rain. Uh, if we make any mistakes, we're just going to keep falling further and further behind. So 20 seconds on the clock. Let's go ahead. And oh, man, we got some tough blocks to dodge right off the bat already throwing challenges at us and just like man those tough blocks appeared just like jason anderson threw that tough block at me in uh what was it the last episode or two episodes ago man we've been having some brutal luck here in the series so i just want to get through this round like alive <laughs> i don't want to be like 50 points down from anderson so if we can just get like a top 10 a consistent result i would be okay with that as long as we don't lose a ton of points and make it like so we're really far behind in the series cross the finish line for the first time and we're actually like already starting to catch up to these guys which is a-okay with me now coming into daytona i don't really like like the track i really don't like daytona that's something i've always said about these games is that daytona seems to lack and i know they're basing them off of the, like, the track maps that they use in real life, right? They're basing these tracks in the game off of the real life tracks. But something just doesn't feel right about them. Like, honestly, something just doesn't feel right about Daytona, ever. In every game we've, we've had it in, it just does not feel right. I've never enjoyed it, especially in this game. I don't enjoy Daytona, so that is that so coming into this round i was honestly hoping it was going to be nice and dry and i'd be able to just cruise around the track not really struggle not have to worry just bounce through the sections and hopefully pull off a decent result and then i loaded in and i saw the rain this is like worst case scenario because it makes it easy to crash it makes it harder to like time these sections and everything oh man i'm gooning it up right now hopefully maybe get the pass in on stewart i was trying to put the pass in on Benny Bloss, but we're kind of moving up together. But you really just gotta like try and not go down in the mud, try and not come to a complete stop at any point in time, keep your momentum up because if you get stuck down in like first gear, not moving, sometimes it is so hard to get going, especially depending on where you are. The sand would be brutal right now, the whoops would be like brutal 
to get going in right now. Whoops already sucked to get going in, so imagine, oh man. Imagine if we went down right now, right before the whoops, which is this corner, right here. Imagine, Marv actually got by me on the inside, but then you don't get a drive for this section, which you can see. Cunningham kind of pulled ahead going through that corner, and then we caught like right back up to him, so. Where is Anderson, guys? Where is Jason Anderson? Can we find him on the scoreboard? Oh man, he's got to be within like the top five. Knowing my luck, he's like top, top two, just chilling, cruising to a victory or something like that. And we're back here struggling right now. Six and a half minutes to go though, so no real worries on my mind as of yet. We still got a lot of time to make the comeback happen, especially if we start hitting this section clean. Look at that, Marsha, Freeze. None of these guys hit that section clean. Tickles right here. There's two passes in the book. Tickle would be the third, and Tomac could be the fourth. Anderson, look at that. I knew it. I knew he would be in the top two. Chillin' P2. P2, if you take a look at the scoreboard, keep an eye on it. It'll pop up. He's battling with... I think it's Baggett. Is it Baggett that's up front with him? I think so. I think that's who it was. Man, we got some work to do, because we are like... We are like neck and neck in points. Like, whoever comes out on top in this race gets the points lead. I think that's the way it's gonna work out. We still have the red plate, and I think we're ahead of Anderson by one point, which is absolutely crazy. So right now, he'll take that points lead. If we can beat him, or finish one position behind him, like right behind him, we will either be in the points lead by however many points we gain, or tied with Anderson, so. Oh man, oh man coming down to the wire and with that being said if we finish one position behind anderson he's then gonna be oh man he's gonna be technically in the lead i think or would it come down to wins if we're tied for points overall if we finish one position behind him we will tie for points overall and then i think it goes down to wins in the series after that so since we're tied for points it then goes to the wins and whoever has more wins in the series gets the overall so i don't know who would have more wins me or anderson that'd be an interesting one to find out we can find that out at the end of the episode actually when it shows the scoreboard four minutes to go we're in eighth place trailing dean wilson the man dean wilson can we try and actually catch up to these guys it seems like the top seven here have kind of like spaced themselves out quite a bit actually like i think we're still pretty far behind the leaders like we're in eight so there's only seven riders that we could make a pass on but i think we're probably i don't know 10 seconds down still like we're probably pretty far back even though we're in eighth place oh that's gonna cost us a ton of time with two and a half minutes to go i'm gonna have to focus attack the track we are actually pretty far behind anderson who else is up there? I think Brayton, Baggett. Webb is right here in front of us. But I need to focus. I need to try and get the pass in on him. And get going towards the front of the field right now. Because chilling back here in 7th. It's not going to keep me in the points lead. It is not. So Anderson's in 3rd. I need to at least be in 4th. I need to at least be up there in like P4. Alright, a minute and a half to go just over a minute actually and we are into fifth grant is right in front of us it looks like we might be able to get the pass in on grant which would give us fourth but other than that oh man other than that i don't oh no that's huge that is a huge loop out right there that might cost us the points lead a ton of positions what is that three positions no way oh man we were actually looking at beating Anderson there, possibly. But I think that just ruined the whole race. Triple, triple, land on the gas, okay. Into sixth. We're into sixth. Can we get back into fourth? Redemption. We had our mistake. That was the first mistake of the episode, too. And we leave it right till the end when we have no time to make some redemption happen. No time at all. I'm gonna make it happen though. I'm gonna make it happen, man. Hey, Ray, I need the pass on you. Grant, 
I'm coming for you, man. I passed you once. I will do it again. This time, maybe we won't be as nice. <laughs> man, this section is eating me alive. Eating me alive, man. Last lap. Alright. We got some work to do. Anderson's in second. We gotta make two passes if we wanna be tied with him, at least. That'd be the main goal right now. Which probably would have been possible if we didn't go down, man. Oh, if we didn't loop our Larry. Can I double out of here? I just don't think we're gonna have enough time. I can see Baggett, which is who we need to pass. But considering we still need to pass Grant. I don't think we're going to get it done. You guys know I'm not going to give up. The race is not over. Until it is over. We are closing in quick. I think me and Grant are both catching Baggett. <laughs> Maybe Baggett's out of tear-offs. Man can't see anymore. Oh, that's huge. I hit that tough walk. Oh, I think that's it. Unless we get a huge drive in this last section. Everyone's gonna get through clean except me. No way. No way. So that crash costed us, I guess, one position for sure. And the points lead, man. The points lead is gone. So after that fifth place finish in Daytona, we are now four points behind Jason Anderson, sitting in second place for the championship. That's it, guys. What can you do? Mistakes happen. We probably would have been able to get up there and at least tie him for points right now if we didn't go down. So we had our one crash. I, I was thinking we were actually going to make it through the whole race without going down, but we did. What can you do? Racing's racing. Stuff happens. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up button, and I will catch you guys all in tomorrow's video. Peace out.